Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 22 of Hut Roulette. And last episode, we ended off with a four game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to a fifth and sixth one this episode. And I'm gonna give you guys a small little challenge for this episode, I guess, and it will pay off for you guys, I think. But if we can get this video 300 likes, I'll post out another Hut Roulette episode very, very quickly. So, uh, if you guys can get it to 300 likes today, you probably will see a Hut Roulette in your subscription boxes by today as well. So, uh, I want to get you guys these Hut Roulette videos out quicker, and I think that's a way to kind of incentivize you guys helping to like these videos up a little bit, because this series is kind of just about to end. Uh, I want to end this series once we win the Division 1 title, and then we can restart it back again because I know a lot of you guys like Hunt Roulette and our team's already pretty stacked for the most part. Alright guys, so right now we are in Division 2. We're just about to head into Division 1. We have 14 points in the season and we still have two games in order to get to, the, to that Division 2 title. So that's going to be pretty exciting. And like I said, if we can win that five game win streak, we can pick up a special card. And that will be a pretty good start to start off Division 1, I guess. So lots of things to look forward to in this episode. First off, we're going to go through the lineups. And uh, we got Alexander Ovechkin, Bergeron, and Patrick Kane on the first line. On the second, we got Rick Nash. We got the newly acquired Connor McDavid from the last episode, as well as Gabriel Landeskog, who's playing on the same line. Uh, there's also James Neal, Logan Couture, Gustav Nyquist on the third. And on the fourth, we got Tyler Johnson, Ryan Kessler, and Blake Wheeler. So that's how the offense is looking like. Moving on to the defense now, Cromwell, Luongo, and the newly acquired Carlson. Really excited to keep trying out his card, as well as Dougie Hamilton, Milestone, Jason Garrison, and we also got Jack Johnson and Mike Green. So that's how our team is looking like. So let's get right into the first game. Let's see if we can win and continue the streak. All right, guys. So first game of the episode, had to mute his mic. He's got Oshi uh, on the center spot. That's pretty interesting. I saw Rick Nash as well. So I'm excited to try out that new Connor McDavid card. I've never played with him before, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, what a passing player, Rick Nash, giving us the 1-0 lead. That was just a perfect face-off win, and we did a nice little passing play to set up Rick Nash. We make it one to nothing. So let's keep it going here. Still uh, 14 minutes left in the first period. Yes! And we score another goal right away. Is that Rick Nash again? No, that wasn't Rick Nash. Maybe that was Gabriel Lannistog, but we were like 6 on 5 the whole time because he did take a penalty. We generated so many chances there. Gabriel Lannistog, that is right, from Connor McDavid, getting his first point of his uh, hot roulette season, I guess. So anyways, 2 to nothing. very good start. Yes, and Blake Wheeler with the snipe. Oh man, three goals in the first period. I don't know if this guy's going to quit or not. That's pretty, I don't know, embarrassing. But anyways, Blake Wheeler with a nice snipe, beating his goalie once again. And we score three goals in just 14 minutes in this game. Just a nice little drag back. I knew he was going to cut off the pass, so I just decided to shoot the puck there. And that was the right decision. So anyways, it's not skipping the replay. Far down to, on uh, who's that, Roberto Luongo? I don't know. Anyways, three to nothing. We'll see what happens in this game. Oh, and there's another goal. Bergeron tucks another one in, and it's already four to nothing. This guy is just taking an absolute beating right now. Oh man, our team is clicking or something. I don't know what's going on. He's got Brayden Holby in that. An 89 overall goalie as well. He's just getting absolutely lit up. Alex Ovechkin just taking a shot on that. Bergeron, the nice little garbage goal there. Now it's 4 nothing. Alright, so end of the first period. And, and we're absolutely blowing up this game already. 15-2 in shots. 3 minutes time on attack to 1 minute and 50 seconds. That is the type of start I want in a division... Uh, one title game, Division 2 title game. Anyway, still 4 to nothing here. Let's see if we can uh, keep up some more scoring. Oh, 
Oh, and he gets one right back, breaking the shutout. Uh, that was a bad defensive play by me. I thought I would, I don't know, give him a shot there, and he does t uh, tuck that one in. So it's now 4-1 to one early in the second period. Let's make sure we don't give up any more goals. There it is, Patrick Kane. That move, man, just gets the goalie every time. It's just so hard not to use it. But anyways, it's 5-1 to one now. This guy was definitely putting a lot of pressure on me, so I was kind of afraid there. But anyways, we're leading with a 4-goal lead again. Let's keep it, keep it going. Oh, Kane's got the break. Kane's got the break. The back in forehand. And there it is. Another goal. And this guy's had enough of it, I think. Is he going to rage quit there? Yes, he does. Oh, man. We were getting so many breaks with our team. It was absolutely, like, insane. How many breakaways did we get? One out of one breakaways. I think that was the Kane breakaway. But 20 and 5 in shots. 4 minutes and 47 seconds. Time on attack. 2 minutes and 46 seconds. So we'll go ahead and uh, go on random.org. Randomize all the special cards. I'll meet you guys there and choose the 20th player. Alright guys, here we go. Uh, I apologize about the music in the background. Uh, there's some people playing some music in my house, so nothing I can really do about that. However, we got all the different types of special cards. There are some new ones, like International Player of the Games that I haven't done before. Uh, Winner Classics, All-Star Game cards, so lots of things to pull. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this right into random.org and randomize. And whatever is number one is the one we're going to be picking. And it's going to be... Legends! Alright, I think that's the first time we got Legends in this Hut Roulette episode, or Hut Roulette series. So, let's go ahead, go back into the market, and we'll choose a Legend card. Alright, here we go guys, we're choosing the 20th Legend card. The buy now minimum has been set to 5,000, so let's go ahead and see what we get. I'm pretty excited. Alright, anyway, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Pavel Bure. What a disgusting card to put on our team. That's an awesome pickup. Let's go ahead, buy him out, see where he fits in. All right, guys, so we added in Pavel Bury into our team. And you might be thinking, why aren't you, like, putting him on your first line? And I really don't want to mess up this lineup right now, this Patrick Kane, Bergeron, Ovechkin line, because they all have perfect chemistry right now. And, uh, I mean, might as well spread around the wealth, you know? The first line's already doing pretty well. Let's, like, help out the second line just a bit. Adding in Pavel Bury, uh, playing alongside with Connor McDavid and uh, Gabriel Landeskog. And you might be wondering why my coins didn't go down. I already had him on my main team. I have Pavel Burry. I have a lot of the legends already. So it was pretty easy to slot him in with a New Jersey change team. So that's kind of why he's in there without my coin total changing. But that is how our team is looking going into the second episode. I did take out... Who did I take out? I took out Blake Wheeler from the left wing spot. Putting in Tyler Johnson into that left wing. And then putting Gustav Nyquist into the fourth line right wing. So that's how the team is looking like. So let's get started into the second game. We're beginning Division 1 fresh. Let's get it going. Alright, second game of the episode, he's got Mike Bossy, Pavelski, and that is, uh, I couldn't see who was on his left wing, the names are too hard to read, but we got Pavel Burry, let's see how he does on his debut, let's get this game going. There it is, the first goal, nice little passing play, and uh, Gabriel Landeskog, man, he is just tucking everything in right now. We make it one to nothing. So a pretty nice start to uh, Division 1. Definitely a little bit of a change in the skill gap. Seems like this guy's been playing in Division 1 for a while. So uh, we're going to have to play a little bit better for sure. So let's get let's keep it going now. Alright, so a pretty good start to the first period. Uh, he's getting a lot of chances right now. I mean, the time on attack is very similar. 6-3 to three in shots. 2 minutes 40 seconds time on attack to 2 minutes and 11 seconds. So we got to play, keep playing solid defensively and try to get a couple more goals and secure this lead a bit more. Oh, what a goal! Rick Nash with the dangles and sets up Logan Tour. That's what I'm talking about. Getting that nice lead in the second period. 
That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Let's keep it up. Still second period. Lots of time left in this game. Oh, Tyler Johnson. Go, go, go. You got the speed. You got the speed. Back in forehand. Oh, that was not a good uh, chance there. Pass it back. There it is. Carlson. Oh, get the shot on net. Come on. Oh, that's a penalty. You can't be doing that. Can't be sticking the stick there. Uh, let's try keep using the point here. Oh, man. All right. Anyways, we got the power play. Let's see if we can capitalize on it. Oh, what? What kind of goal is that? His goalie bit so hard and Ovechkin getting in his, like, I think that was the second game or second goal in this uh, Hut Roulette series. So not a bad goal by him setting up by uh, Patrick Kane. Let's keep, it, let's keep it going. Oh no, and he breaks the shutout. Luke Robitaille does a nice little backhand forehand and he answers right back. God damn, I thought I had him, uh, I guess, cornered a little bit. Didn't think he would get the shot off, but he still got it. Anyways, 3-1. to one. We gotta get a goal back. There is the win. The first win in Division 1, so we're just that much closer to getting that Division title. I don't know what I'm doing changing the lineups at the end of the game, but anyways, we win with a score of 3-1. to one. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Yep, definitely not much commentating in the third, so I do apologize about that, but I really need to focus down and just get that first win. Uh, but 14 and 10 in shots, 6 minutes, 20 seconds time on attack to 8 minutes and 47 seconds. So he definitely picked it up in the third period. Take a look at the three stars there. Logan Gator uh, getting that first star. Rick Nash getting that second star. And Alexander Ovechkin getting that third star. So let's go ahead into the marketplace. Choose the 14th player. And we also got to buy a 8750 pack for the team. So I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so we always do the pack first, so we're going to do the pickup first instead. Uh, let's go into the browse auctions here, put it on players, uh, the buy now minimum on 6,000 coins, and we'll be choosing the 14th player. So let's search it up, let's see what we get. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Taylor Hall, that is an awesome pickup. 91 skating, 90 shot, 89 hands. He can definitely find a spot on our team. So let's go ahead and buy him out, see where he fits in. But before we show you guys the team, uh, we're going to be opening up that pack. Just going to quickly show you guys what is out in the marketplace right now, or out in packs right now. Shifley, Barkowski, Felino. There is also Milestone Lundqvist, uh, Milestone Campbell. Uh, there's also a flashback, uh, Ilya Brzezgalov. That's pretty hilarious. But anyways, we're going to get this pack opened up. Let's see if we can get lucky in this 8750, even though, I don't know. We haven't gotten lucky at all in these 8750 packs, so. Alright, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. And it's going to be... Ah, uh, no, there's nothing. Uh, Hadobin, Marinson, uh, Winchester, and yeah, that is a pretty garbage pack. So we can go ahead and quick sell it. Don't need that. Alright guys, so a pretty hard decision to where I want to put Taylor Hall. Uh, there are just so many good players on our team right now that, you know, it's just so hard to find him in an open spot. But we did put him on the third line left wing alongside with Lone Couture and Rick Nash. I think that line will definitely have some chemistry together. And I did move down James Neal. Uh, even though he does have chemistry with the Couture, I thought, you know what, let's just move him down a little bit for right now, as well as moving in Tyler Johnson in Gustav Nyquist's spot, uh, because Gustav Nyquist was the lowest overall on our team. So, that is about it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Once again, if we can reach this video 300 likes, I will go ahead and post another Hut Roulette episode very, very shortly. So, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Alright, so ASP Perry comes out again. We definitely see that one. Back to Fortune, Bobby Ryan, Fisher, K, not the most interesting trade there. Uh, Tarasenko, Boudreaux, and Skinbound, Boyne.